Hey guys! In today's video, I wanted to give you a behind the scenes look at all of the analytics that are built in to Squarespace itself. So I'm going to give you a tour of the analytics panel and show you exactly what data you can gather from your website. This is great obviously because it means you can keep track of your goals and see how your website is performing. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I help entrepreneurs with the tech side of their online business. So if that is something that you would like some help with, make sure that you hit subscribe down below and then you hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. All right, so here's the analytics in Squarespace. So when you're logged into Squarespace, you're going to see an analytics tab over here on the left side. So just click on that and then you are going to see all of the analytics that are available to you. Now I do have to note that what analytics you will see depends on what Squarespace plan you are on. So here are all of the analytics that are available to you on all plans. Uh, but then these four here, which are a bit more advanced, you need to be on one of the commerce plans, um, except you will get some data for your abandoned cart and sales overview on the website business plan if you have connected a payment processor, so Stripe or PayPal. All right, so back in Squarespace, let me show you some of the analytics that you can get. The first is your sales overview. Um, as you can see, my revenue is zero. Don't worry, that's because I don't sell my products directly through Squarespace, um, but you absolutely can. So you would get your overview of what you've sold here. Then we have traffic overview. So this is going to tell you how much traffic your site is receiving. Um, and then there's some more data down here, for example, device type. So that's going to let you know if it's coming from majority desktop traffic or mobile. And then we have source, and this is really helpful to know. So whether it's coming from Google or Pinterest, for example. So then traffic sources is going to give you an even further breakdown, as you can see here. If you want to see exactly what source is driving the most revenue, then you can upgrade to a commerce plan. Then we have the popular content tab. So this is really great. You can see what site content is receiving the most page views on your site. Then we have geography to see where your visitors are coming from. As you can see, majority of my visitors are coming from the US. Then we have form and button conversions. So if you are using any of the Squarespace forms, you can actually scroll down here to the bottom and see how these forms are performing. So for example, it's going to give you a breakdown of how many people have viewed the page, how many people actually submitted the form, and then what your conversion rate is. And you can do this by either form or by the page overall. And then we have your purchase funnel, which is a more advanced feature, the abandoned cart, and then we have Google search keywords. So you can actually come in here and see what keywords are driving traffic to your website, which is fantastic. And then if you click other search keywords, again, you can see what keywords are driving traffic. And this is from other search engines other than Google. Next is site search keywords. So if you have a search bar on your website, this is what people are actually typing in on your site. So that is always helpful to know and that can help you out with your content strategy. Then we have data for your RSS subscribers and an activity log, which is going to tell you um, what time visitors accessed your site. So as you can see, there are a ton of analytics available within Squarespace itself, which is super convenient. You can just come in and check your stats every week. I do still recommend that you connect to Google Analytics as well, which can give you even more data about your site, but it's really nice that this data is included within Squarespace and is easy to access. All right, guys, I hope that you found this helpful. If you are building your website with Squarespace, then you're definitely going to want to get your hands on my free guide, which I'll leave a link to in the description below, as well as somewhere up here. That is going to help you build a gorgeous professional website and fast. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving me a comment below, and I'll see you guys soon with another video.